Hello, my YouTube friends. This is Mia Vibes. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel and welcome to another video. Guys, I'm so excited to show you this video today. I will be doing a flip through of this Traveler's Notebook junk journal inserts that I just created for my shop. This time I have them in two different sizes. This is a Sendar size and these are the A5 size. Sometimes my customers like the A5 size so I decided to create one because I feel like there are not a lot of like junk journal options for A5 size traveler's notebooks. Um, on you know Etsy or anything like that so I thought that maybe some people will need this size and um, as you can see these are kind of like dressed up compared to um, the regular journals that I made these are so much more decorated and everything as you can tell I did a lot of sewing for days for the covers and um, actually for the pages inside as well I am going to be listing this today and I'm gonna try to um, post this video before or like right after I do the listing too so that you guys can have some more information in case you are considering buying this one but if not I still um, appreciate that you're watching this video and I hope that this video can give you some kind of inspiration guys before I go into each and every journal I just want to kind of give you like an idea like a rough idea about how the covers were created and everything because they are pretty much like really similar so I'm just gonna tell you like how I created the covers um, first and then I will probably speed up the the insert like the page part so um, basically all these covers were created with um, two pieces of like a cardstock I would say so two pieces of cardstock um, so the first cardstock is gonna be the one that's outside this um, just like a one color cardstock and inside when you open it there's another piece of cardstock in there this is kind of thinner a little bit but um, like this kind of scrapbook paper with pretty patterns that's what's inside and on the inside cover um, there are some kind of pockets so this one I mean all the standard size have the same kind of pocket created with the volume so these are two pockets so as you can see there is like one slot right here and there's another slot here but in the back well, yeah, in the back, there are two <laughs> pockets also. And this one is a little different though. This is the A5 size. So the first one has this kind of, same kind of vellum cover. I mean, vellum pockets inside, but the other one has just the uh, scrapbook paper. All so. these journals have the pockets in the front and the back cover. So as you can see here, there's a cover. And whenever there's a cover, I mean, pockets or any hiding spot like I make sure I put something in there just to give you guys something extra and the A5 size um, the cover inside I mean in the front and back they are the same way so the big one in the front and big one in the back but these um, smaller ones the standard size the front cover is just the whole page this is just the whole you know front cover but in the back, as you can see here, there um, is a, like a line that's like stitched over here. That means the back cover has two pockets. One, a little smaller one on the top, like so that's gonna be the size of the back pocket here. And there's a little bigger one. So they are all like that. And on the cover, I use a lot of fabrics and sari ribbons and some lace and stuff. So basically, I try to create a cover with a bigger piece of fabric. So if you look at this one, do you see this? So if you look at this one, um, there's a big piece of fabric 
and there's another little decoration piece and there's small decoration piece here and this one specifically has this lace just like the a5 size one but I just wanted to you know give some different like differences in the journals in the same size too so the other ones don't have this um, this lace or the sari ribbon but I made this one that way kind of like this style and the other ones are pretty much the same way just this little small um, decoration piece and there's some more decoration piece but these three I make sure I did I decided to make sure that I have a little piece of sari ribbon here so you can have some extra I don't know junkiness <laughs> in your traveler's notebook cover so yeah and one thing really interesting about these covers are guys um, as you can tell I already put a lot of things in the covers again if there's any pockets I try to fill them up so um, without any ephemera in the pocket here it's kind of like this like blank so you can absolutely put a title like a, you know you can write the title of this journal or something like that but I decided to keep this here to show you that depending on what you put in the front cover or the back cover, um, the fabric covers, the design of each cover can kind of, you know, look different because without the, you know, without any ephemeras or anything, it's going to be just like this, which is nice. I think I can still put a, like a little dymo tape here or something like that to write like a journal or excuse me, junk journal or scrapbook or something like that. But um, because you have the cover here, if you decide to keep your ephemera or any journaling goodies like a washi sample, random paper scraps, stickers anything then it's gonna be the part of the cover just like this um the sizes of the pockets are all like all different depending on which channel you get sometimes it's a little bigger sometimes it's like a narrower and some of them are super skinny too so i am naming each journal kind of like this so this is a cover design a brown and brown can you see it okay okay yeah so this is brown and brown and standard size so brown and brown means the cover the paper was brown and then the fabric was kind of brown too and this is the B brown and blue so this is brown and but the fabric is blue and I think the pink one is C yeah the pink one is gonna be called just dusty pink because it's all around like pink. I really like this one. I really like this fabric, these fabrics. All these fabrics are awesome. I didn't use any ugly fabric. I decided to, I mean, I did my best to pick really pretty um, fabric scraps that I would use in my journal, like myself. All these designs I will definitely use in my journal. In fact, whenever I kind of like a slow start, whenever I get to slow down with my Etsy shop, I want to create a like a you know real fancy journal like this for myself too um, for the standard size or a5 size so we'll see I definitely want to do that um, yeah this one is gonna be D green and cream so this is just green here the paper is green but the fabric is kind of like a cream so I just decided to name that it was really difficult um, and this is like an olive green the cardstock is olive green color and brown because there's a big piece of brown um, fabric here and this sari ribbon this is a little darker than this one so I thought that it's kind of like brown and this is yellow and cream yellow cardstock and uh, yellow I mean cream um, fabric and also here and for the goodies that's that are in the pocket some of them are just like this note card that I got in a happy mail and some of them are just paper scraps and some feel good parcel um, paper party pack goodies are in here too just like this image and um, there's the quotes and stuff like that too so even this one here 
it says dreams are real so this is one of our message um items like message and embellishments but i decided to keep some in there and all the pockets that are created in the pages they are I mean they were all done with the sewing machine I didn't use really like I didn't use glue to make the pages and there are Franken pages like this if you are this is another pocket here if you're not familiar with Franken pages these are basically the pages that were like made into a big page with um, the smaller paper scrap just like you're seeing right here these are smaller paper scraps but I just sew them all together so now they can you know stay like this as a big piece of paper so in each journal there are um, like three Franken pages and one um, page that's like the sewn to create pockets if that makes sense and there are some pages like this like I just added extra like a writing spot for you but I use a sewing machine so you can open it up and you can definitely journal in there too um, and there are some pages that has like a sari ribbon decoration or the fabric as well they are pretty much the same I'm gonna do a quick flip through on everything every single journal so that you know what exactly I'm talking about and before I go into any um, specific journal I will try to make sure that I show you the design number and everything which you'll be able to see on my Etsy shop listing anyway but still I'm gonna try to explain or point out everything to you okay all right we're beginning with the very first Standard size traveler's notebook junk journal. So this one is design A, brown and brown. There are pockets here and here, and some decorations here. And again, all these are pockets. And I decided to keep some kind of like a vintage-ish. I don't know, a little vintage. Um, <laughs> um, what is this called? Like a. English grammar flashcard so I decided to put that there and there are some other things um, so I'm not gonna pull out everything because there are a lot of pockets and everything but you can kind of see like what's in there so I use um, a lot of Daiso papers with like a grid or simple design and some other note paper that I use my um, traveler's notebook inserts for my shop all the time and the pockets the way they are created in each journal they're always different um, so this one was created with these two pieces of I would say like a scrapbook paper like a square scrapbook paper and I just um, these were two pieces like a back-to-back and I just sewed here on the bottom and then on the top so that it can when it's bound like this so it can have like a, you know a little pocket like this and a lot of pages usually they are all like neutral oh some pages have like extra writing spot like this also <clears throat> a lot of pages are very neutral just like my other noodle noodles guys noodles just like my other <laughs> junk journal inserts and this is just uh, like a craft paper um, notepad notepad yeah or notebook from the high store, but I just keep the you know some part of the page there and there's just some you know stitching sometimes for decoration and this is also a piece of um, Franken page so I decided to do some collage with paper scraps and stuff without the glue which is awesome um, I love gluing everything but sometimes like stitching everything is kind of easy to create quick collaging on the journal pages I feel like it's just easier so you, so you don't have to you know be so like messy with the glue and there's a little brown page brown paper brown paper yeah and some of the pages are super cute and also as you guys know already whenever there is like a ripped spot I just left them like this because this is what makes uh, my junk journals look really really junky I feel like so I just did that and this one has a little um, sorry ribbon piece but when you close it you can see it on the top so I thought that was very cool this is something I definitely love 
and we have some blue fabric here so when you close it again then you can see this because I kind of wanted to make some kind of flag or tab using this and also I have some writing spot here but you can um, just glue it down also like whenever I like even this this you can just glue everything down and just use this as a page too but I just like decided to give you guys an option so you can use it like as different layers like a multiple layer page or you can just glue it down and just use it as a design and journal just on top of everything so it's up to you <laughs> and this is the other part of that um, pocket and I have some Vilgo parcel ephemera in here and because these um, pattern paid like the papers the scrapbook papers because there's like a blank like this you can absolutely like uh, try to write on these patterns but also you can just create something um, it's up to you as well and there's another little Franken page and these are the pockets pocket here the bigger one and then this is the smaller one and some of the goodies that I put in there there are sewn like this too I basically wanted to make some more like a writing spots or like a blank embellishments for you like they like these are blanks but I don't I didn't want to make it like so boring or I didn't want to give it just like a blank piece of paper this time where is some other examples? I'll show you later. <laughs> so, um, yeah, some of these um, goodies that's in here, they are like sewn like this. So, again, you can just glue this down to just use this as a, like a one piece like this. But when you are using this in your journal, what you can do is, let's say, like this is perfect spot for this. This is something I will absolutely do. Like this or this or like this, right? And when you do this, um, if you want, let me show you. Okay, I have this like a random brown piece, right? So if you want, after you glue over here, you don't like don't glue this yet, but you can add other pieces to create more like a collage. Then you will you can build up many many um, you know like a paper layers under this or around this like this. So, um, you know, this can be a little more flexible. That's the idea why, why I make this. I am thinking about making them a whole bunch and use it for something or sell some. But um, I really think that these blanks are actually really like useful. So you can absolutely do that. But again, you can just put this here like this and you can just journal here and journal here and you can be done with this too. So there are a lot of different ways how you can use them you know so yeah this was the first one and since I kind of explained everything here the rest of the journals I'm just gonna you know like just really quickly go through them hopefully you can see them hopefully you can see them well but yeah this was the very first one and I really like the look of this right now the way it's like super junky when it's closed and I left all this so you can um, just cut off these strings but also I think they are always really interesting this is the whole point why you're getting like a sewn cover in your junk journal right so yeah so that was the first one and this is design B I mean not B yeah design B brown and blue as you can see so this is brown and this is blue here and this is what the cover looks like
A5 size. This is going to be the design A, olive green and brown. guys this is the end of the video thank you so much for watching this video and i hope that you are able to get some better ideas about these junk journals um if you need some details about these junk journals everything's gonna be written down in the sc description box which i will leave in my youtube video description box other than that have a good day and i'll talk to you in my next video bye